Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. In today's video, I wanted to test out some products because I've received quite a few products over the past couple of weeks and most of these products I've not tried before and some of these I've tried like once. And so I thought, seeing as I do little snippets over on Instagram, why not bring it over to YouTube and just sit down and have a general chit chat about some of the products that I've launched over the past couple of weeks. Or some of these products have been launched for quite a while and I just honestly haven't tried it myself, so technically new to me. Yeah, let's just dive into it. So the first product I wanted to try was part of Dr. Pawpaw's newest launch of their skincare line. I was sent the three in one cleansing balm. I do love how bright the packaging is, but it's different to see a cleansing balm in a tube. I know that Inky List has their oat cleansing balm in a tube, but theirs is 150 ml, whereas this one is only 50 ml. So the key ingredients of this product, which is their papaya seed oil. This one is also paired with jojoba oil and olive oil which is interesting to see so with most cleansing balms they are a little bit thick and they can seem almost like i want to say like soapy in the fact that when you take it out it is really thick heavy solid like is what i'm trying to say whereas with this one it's so flexible in the texture it feels super nice, smells incredible, and it doesn't feel as weighty as other cleansing balms. Of course, it does have that oomph behind it because it is a cleansing balm, but it doesn't feel as greasy and oily as you would find most cleansing balms. So the fact that this one is sort of like, like I said, a flexible texture and that it's not stiff is really really nice just wanted to add a quick note when using it to take off makeup it is still as lovely and gorgeous and did not need a lot in order to take my makeup off so the next product just sticking with dr pawpaw at the moment before we move on to other products so this is their four in one face serum they have trademarked their popular papaya seed oil with the fact that they have eight different types of hyaluronic acid in this honestly having more than one hyaluronic acid in a formula is weak because then you know the fact that you're getting different sized hyaluronic acid molecules some are going to sit on top of the face some are going to penetrate the skin and you're just not only getting that instant hydration but you're also going to have the long-term effects of hydration as well due to the different sized molecules it also contains vitamin c it is quite far down on the inky list so in regards to what percentage you're getting i'm not quite sure but the vitamin c they do have in here is the ascorbic acid which is one of the most trustworthy sources of vitamin c because it's thoroughly researched and yeah, essentially vitamin C is really great for brightening the complexion. So let's crack it open. Texture is really lightweight, not sticky at all, which is really nice, really what you want for a serum. Perfect to use both in the morning and at night. It does have a smell, but it's not as strong as the cleansing balm. And it does feel really nice. There's absolutely no stickiness there's no stiffness when i'm applying the product it feels really cooling and really nice and just overall a good experience so this next product has been around for so so long and i just don't know why i didn't pick it up earlier but this one is the ordinary buffet and buffet buffet i don't know and copper peptides one percent i am so excited to try this this is one of their uh pricier items but honestly the ordinary is so affordable and this is the all famous blue formula so this is a water-based serum suitable for all skin types and the main ingredients in here is of course the copper it also has a post biotic which is so amazing this can help protect the skin's surface from visible signs of environmental damage it's got hyaluronic acid 
and it's got a bunch of multi-peptides in there that are specifically designed to target more than one type of aging so it basically helps to target multiple signs of aging all at the same time which is amazing but the reason why i wanted to try this is because it helps with hydration helps with fine lines and wrinkles but most importantly it helps with textural issues which i have you know and so i'm very excited to try this also i have read that if you do not get on well with vitamin c because i know vitamin c can be major okay especially if you're going for a very high percentage it could just not work with your skin you can use this because of the copper in there and so honestly i'm just so excited to try this and i love the fact that it's blue how exciting yep definitely a water-based uh serum just honestly blends into the skin really really nicely it does sort of have a hint of oil in there i'm not sure where that's coming from there is sort of like a metallic uh smell which in all honesty is probably just coming from the copper so i'm going to try this on the other side and i'm just honestly so excited to try this blends in straight away i'm just gonna wait for it to dry a little bit so i've just wait for it to dry a little bit and it still feels a little bit wet slightly sticky not as sticky as this one the dr purple one but yeah feels really nice it's given me a really nice dewy glow as did this one so this next product i was sent two products from this brand and so i will be trying them both in this video but the first one is the skin proud bright boost two percent vitamin c serum again i love i just love a brightly colored packaging i don't know what it is but honestly it just speaks to me this one has two percent vitamin c again ascorbic acid one of the most popular vitamin c's out there it's also got i'm gonna butcher this really badly kakadu plum maybe not uh lemon extract which is good for the brightening aspect of things it's got hyaluronic acid and vitamin b5 which is really really nice comes in this really adorable i don't know what is happening with the exposure on this camera right now but it comes in this really pretty packaging the only thing i would know most serums on the market 30 mil this one is only 25 so i feel like they're rubbing me a little bit and this one okay is pretty much everything you want and more when it comes to the glowy dewiness that you want to achieve it boosts the skin's clarity it boosts hydration it helps reduce the appearance of hyperpigmentation just gives you that ultra brighter hydrated dewy glowy complexion who doesn't want that it's honestly just a clear texture that you can hardly see it's again got a hint of oil in there i'm wondering if that's probably from the hyaluronic acid i know if you have like a hyaluronic acid only serum it can feel a tad there's an oomph to it a bit of an oil oomph a bit of a tacky sticky oomph um and i think that's what i'm getting from this formula yeah it's just a very clear texture glides easily it dries very quickly so usually before i put on serums and pretty much before i put on moisturizers um i do like to spray my face just so it's damp but just for the sake of this video i'm applying this straight onto my skin after cleansing so it's been dry this one dried almost pretty much very quickly as i was rubbing it in it dried almost instantly so this next product again i was sent another product to go along with this and this is a brand that i've never heard of before and this is yendi so i was sent their antioxidant power serum along with their moisturizer the main ingredients in this is baobab morella rosehip jojoba oil squalene and vitamin c it says to use after cleansing and tone in twice a day apply two to three drops on your face and neck so what i'm going to do is i'm going to apply this on my chin the only space i have left and on my neck as well so i'm just going to do two to three drops there's no smell i don't think with this one it definitely feels like an oil as opposed to a serum yeah this one definitely feels like an oil this does not feel like 
a serum or it just because it has so many oils in there that might be why but now i'm worried that if i was to put anything on the top it's not going to penetrate my skin because i feel like this has formed a barrier somehow i feel like if i were to use this i would potentially mix two to three drops in the moisturizer that they also have as well but other than that it feels really nice i'm not gonna lie i wish i applied this on my forehead because my forehead is a little bit dehydrated and the next one is another skin proud product and this is their bright eye pomegranate gel cream i honestly love eye products and i feel like there was a time back when when i was on the fence of using them but now that i'm getting older okay i live for any type of eye products the thicker the better oh it looks like a very buttery matte texture which is nice because then that means it might be a little bit thick so the main ingredients in this is vitamin c great pomegranate which is uh gives you a nice soothing effect on the skin also contains shea butter and niacinamide for the eye area it can just really help with reducing the fine line and wrinkles for younger looking eyes like I said, this is a really nice buttery texture. Honestly, anything to nourish the eye area. Yeah, this is so buttery and nice. It has a synthetic smell, which I'm assuming is meant to be the pomegranate. It dries very quickly, just like the serum does. But honestly, you don't need that much time in order to apply this product so the next category is moisturizer i only have one of this and it is the second part to the yendi antioxidant serum this is their super shea moisturizer and of course the main ingredients in here is the shea butter hyaluronic acid vitamin c rosehip oil and square line hope i'm saying that correctly all i can smell is the shea butter which is really nice and again oh, really nice texture does take a while for me i'm not sure if you can see this properly there we go does take a while to sink into the skin that is really really nice i love the feel of that so this helps with uneven skin tone to minimize the appearance of discoloration and dark spots and it just hydrates your face so I'm going to apply this everywhere because it's the only moisturiser I have. But this is really, really nice. I love how comforting it feels. I love how protected my skin feels. This feels super nice. This next product is again another newly-ish launched product. And this is from Bioma. Hand on heart, love that brand, would love to work with that brand. This is their hydrating recovery oil. Again, look how pretty the packaging is. I love their packaging and it's just so good. The main reason why I love this brand is because it is also a brand that looks after your skin's barrier, your microbiome. They have ingredients in here that can help with both. And I just love the fact that brands are coming out now that are specifically looking at your microbiome and skin's barrier so this has square lean jojoba oil and sea buckthorn oil as well and essentially this is going to help illuminate brighten the complexion really really hydrate the complexion and restore the skin's barrier it is non-comedogenic so there's no pore clogging ingredients in here so this is amazing for acne prone skin and it's just a really really nice formula it's not sticky it's not overly oily because i know with facial oils they can just seem so oily and you just get put off them straight away just because you don't want the weight and feel of them on your skin with any type of facial oil this is just down to my own preference my skin type concern i never put a facial oil on my skin directly i always mix it in with my moisturizer just to add a bit of an oomph extra hydration protection but i just never like to add it on separately because knowing me i'll add way too much i know i said in the video i would never put oil directly onto my skin but using this oil directly onto my skin i 
don't hate it it's really lightweight like obviously there's an oily feeling but it's not as horrible as most oils that I've tried. And so I'd be more than happy to just apply this directly onto my skin. So the last product that I wanted to just share my thoughts on is the L'Oreal Revitalift Clinical SPF 50 plus with antioxidant vitamin C and uh, this honestly, I don't know how long this title is, but it is this one. This is a fluid. I know they've launched a serum to go with this as well, and I think it's 12% vitamin C. So this is a broad spectrum SPF, which has both UVA and UVB protection in there. To me, personally, I would always go for an SPF that has both. If it says broad spectrum on there and it says UVA and UVB, you know that it's done both. When it comes to formulating an SPF, honestly, the cost and the testing period to do an SPF is so long and the price is so high. Brands are not kidding when they come out with an SPF because you know that it's been through so many tests in order to prove that it protects against both UVA and UVB. Because I have pigmentation, if you do suffer with pigmentation, always go for an SPF 50 just because you already have that damage on your skin. So with this one I like the fact that it has vitamin C in there and it has vitamin E in there as well. Vitamin E paired with vitamin C can just optimize the vitamin C but pairing both C and E can boost and optimize the SPF that is in the formula. So like I said, this one is a fluid. It's a really nice light texture. It doesn't give you any horrible white residue. I love this. It is so lightweight. It doesn't feel thick at all. So that is all the things that I wanted to try in this video. Let me know what you think. Let me know if there are any products out there that you want me to try. Comment down below if you've tried any of these products and what your thoughts have been, if you've tried them, if you love them, if you hate them. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please do give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when my next video is coming out. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.